Welcome to School Navon. My name is Vicky, I'm in sixth class, Mr. Byrne, and I love English. My name is Alex, I'm in second class. My teacher is Miss McGrath, and I love maths. My name is Jake Martha, I'm in sixth class. My teacher is Miss Curtis, and I love maths. My name's Grace McNeil, and I'm in second class, and my teacher is Miss McGrath, and I love um, reading. Officially opened by President Michael D. Higgins in February 2012, Skullnavon is a Catholic school under the patronage of the Bishop of Meath. The deputy principal is Mr. Enda Lydon, and the principal of Skullnavon is Mrs. Mary McMahon. Fortigo Skullnavon. Welcome to Skullnavon Primary School. We are in a beautiful new school building situated in Clonmagavan and Navan. Two years ago, this was five acres of wasteland. Today, it is a colourful hub for education. Our motto is to be the best that you can be. And we offer a wide range of activities from athletics, Gaelic football, tennis, dance, Spanish classes, swimming, art and choir to give children an all-rounded education where each person is valued and respected. Very good, very good. Number fans back. Number fans back, Oh! Show me numbers. Gaelic football plays a huge role in the life of a pupil at Skullnavon. This year, the boys team reached the quarterfinals. Naturally, when you're a bit older, you remember school as just being learning. But I think this school is, is way ahead of itself in, in terms of ideas and pleasure for, for children every day. Like, they just seem to they always seem to have smiles on their face. because all the technology is modern and it's so big and the teachers help you very well. And then click on the cat to delete that sprite. Done. Now I need a new sprite, so I will click on the new sprite icon and select from one of the many available options. I will choose Breakdancer 1. This sprite has three different costumes that we can see by clicking on the arrows right next to the sprite. Teaching them how to start to make their own games, possibly even video games. So it's the very basics of computer programming. It's called Scratch. We are fortunate to have a hard-working and enthusiastic staff. Literacy, numeracy, science, August Gwilga are all prioritised in Skullnevon. She was the tallest in her class. Good reading, because reading is so good today. And we're going to put it here on the jumper. This is the literacy liftoff, and in the liftoff we have three stations. A reading, writing, a familiar reading, a new book and writing station. Where the children read a new book every day, read a familiar book and then they do some writing. Here we have some of the rooms where the teachers take children to do maths and reading. Yeah. 
That is fantastic. Well done, Abby. Skullnavon School Building was nominated in the Best Educational Building category in the LAM Awards 2013. Situated on a secluded five acre site, Skullnavon boasts a Gaelic football pitch, basketball courts, playgrounds, a sensory garden, and vegetable plots. It's decorated with murals painted by Kieran Williams and Nuala McNeil. For parents, courses are provided in English, cookery, first aid and Zumba. This is our sensory garden. We've made, we have loads of herbs here and hopefully we're going to use them in the future to make pancakes and whatever else to put a little bit of taste in there with all our carrots we have and all the potatoes we're growing. But the main reason it was built because for uh, people who are sensitive like like don't learn as well as anybody else like and it's just for them to, like to feel and touch and everything. But I, say, I think it was a good idea. It just feels great to even be in it sitting in it. Seriously. <laughs> the sensory garden to look to look on it to see how it looks like and to calm down over there. We're looking at the 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 more books you read, the more smarter you get. This is our bug hotel. We made it so that we can keep all the bugs safe as well as ourselves. It's like a little home for them to cope because they could get cold in the winter and we have loads of plants and those things around it for them to eat and sleep in. This is our new football pitch. We weren't able to use it only in the summer and now they've drained it all, they put pipes underneath it, they use sand, all the grass has grown and we're able to use it now. And I believe Miss McMahon, our school principal, has chosen to um, write poems on the walls. People from different cultures um, have wrote imagine in their native language. Here we have our new playground. It was built just for the junior infants during the summer holidays. And I believe some um, preschool children from a school over there um, have moved into our school, so they've got their own little room. We have won numerous awards in science, poetry, English writing and we've also won an award for our gardens in the pride of place. My name is Angie and I go, and I go to DCU and I study marine biology. I do animation and computer gaming. I nearly bet my teacher last year doing multiplication. We were seeing who could do it the fastest and I nearly bet her with my six times tables. As you align here, keep that soft, happy, relaxed feeling with you. And if you ever want to remember what a lovely time you had. I just think it's very forward thinking, it's very innovative. Constantly, Mr McMahon is constantly coming up with different ideas to improve the general school life for children, everyday school life. And it just doesn't seem like school, it just seems like so much fun all the time. Like. We believe that we are the face of modern Ireland. Many of our children are local and we also have children from other countries whose families have settled in Navan. These children bring a richness of diversity that we can all learn from. Parents are always welcome to visit our school where you will be assured of a friendly welcome. For more 
more information on Skolnevon, you can email the school or visit the website www.skolnevon.com.